Introduction to Business Studies Velma is a young girl studying at a local secondary school. She loves business studies so much, but she does not have a lot of knowledge concerning the subject. She therefore decides to ask for more help and decide to consult her uncle, Mr. Jonathan, who is a retired lecturer of business administration. Good evening, uncle. Long time no see. Good evening, young girl. I'm glad you dropped by. Are you busy at the moment? Oh, yes, I am. I'm counting the stars. Come on, uncle. I have something important to tell you. Oh, I was only kidding. Go on. What's on your mind? It's about this subject called business studies. You were once a professor in that field, right? Yes, I love business studies. What would you like to know about it? Everything. I love it too, but I know almost nothing about it. Then I guess you came to the right person. Come on, let's have a seat. Thanks, Anko. I really appreciate this. Well, at least I hope you know the meaning of the word business. Mm, well, as long as I am involved in some activity that is consuming my time, I consider myself busy. That's correct. Business studies is composed of two words. You have just explained one bit. And I also know that to study is to examine something so as to learn or gain knowledge about it. Great. So if we bring the two together, we will get an examination of the business activities in the society, which is the meaning of business studies. Wow, that's quite simple. And there are so many of these activities such as farming, shopkeeping, selling clothes and so on. Yes. Now, did you know that business studies is a living subject? And what does that mean? So you don't know, I guess. No, I don't. Let me enlighten you. When you look around you, you see farmers going about their farms, mm -hmm. shopkeepers at their shops, doctors treating the sick, teachers in class, and so on. Don't you? Yes, I do. And these are the very things that we learn in business studies. I see. In other words, the learner can relate what she hears in class with what goes on around her. Exactly. That is very much alive. Now I get the point. Great. There are two aspects of business studies that you must understand. Bring it on. Well, we have the production and then the distribution. You must understand that in order to make a profit, a business must have a product that it is offering for a sale. Of course, otherwise no selling will take place. Yes. The creation of this product, and note that we are talking about both goods and services, Noted. is what is known as production. I get it. And now these products are moved from one point of production to the next point of consumption, and this is known as distribution. And now I have my two aspects of business studies. Yes, you do. Now, I hope you notice that we are talking about business studies, not business study. Am I missing something? Yes, you are. The reason why we are talking about studies and not study is because business as a subject is made up of different disciplines. I have no idea about that. That's why I am the professor and you're not. Yes, Professor. Enlighten me. Business studies is composed of accounting, commerce, economics, entrepreneurship, and office practice, among other things. We call them disciplines. Don't look at me, Uncle. I have no idea what you are talking about. Well, I can break it down for you one by one. Starting with accounting. Mm -hmm. Accounting is the systematic way of recording business transactions for future references and decision making. So whenever a sale is made, mm. the details are recorded somewhere? That's right. Commerce, on the other hand, deals with trade and aids of trade. I understand what trade is, but aids to trade, you lost me there. Well, the aids to trade simply refer to activities that assist trade to take place. Uh -huh. When you explain things, Anko, mm. even giant terms become very simple. Thank you. Now, 
The next discipline is economics, which is about studying how humans satisfy their wants or needs. Makes sense, especially considering that the resources we have are scarce, while the wants we have are so many. Exactly, and I'm glad you're following. Then we have entrepreneurship. What a mouthful of a word. Ha, mouthful indeed. Now, this is all about identifying a business opportunity, then getting the necessary resources to start and run it. So it is all about starting your own business? Well, in the simplest of terms, yes. Now, finally, we have office practice, which simply means all activities that take place in an office. Wow! For business studies to have so many disciplines, it must be a really important subject. Oh yes, it is. And by the time you are done learning, you will be a very informed consumer, producer, and even worker in the society. You bet I am ready for the ride. I have a dream. I am sure you do. You tell me about it. That one day I will have my own business. Your dream is valid, my child. Oh yes. By the time you are done learning business studies, you will be well equipped to start and successfully run your own business. And you will be able to relate to various types of business activities. I would very much like that. I'm sure you will. And guess what? Mm -hmm. The knowledge that you're going to acquire is going to help you in other subjects such as geography and home science. That is very true. I know for instance that I can apply budgeting when purchasing cooking ingredients. Yep. And while you are at your business, the study will help you understand how the environment in which your business operates influences it. And of course, if I want to study a business-related course in future, this will be a good head start. A very good observation. It will also help you understand the trends in the ever-changing global trends in business, as well as appreciate the role of business in our society. Wow. Business studies is really important. Hang on, I'm not done yet. You will also understand more on the role of the government in business activities. And finally, you will be able to appreciate how market forces determine the prices of goods. Now, I am done. Thank you so much for an enlightening conversation. Don't thank me yet. We have a lot to discuss. Don't worry, Uncle. I am up for the task.